happy Monday. Oh my goodness. I am so exhausted. Ugh. My body is just like not wanting to do anything today. <laughs> it is chilly here in Michigan. Can't wait for the spring. I am so tired of being cold. But with it being cold outside, that means that you can stay inside and read all you want to your heart's desire, which is what I plan to do this week. Um, as you can see from my little intro, I went to the library today and I picked up um, three books, two I had on hold and one I had seen on the shelf um, that I was looking for this author's other book, <laughs> but, um, I did not succeed, but I got The Bone Season by, um, Samantha Shannon. I was really hoping to get my hands on The Priory of the Orange Tree because the new one comes out very, very soon, and I really, really want to read it. But since I didn't get my hands on that one, I'm thinking about starting the series. But I will keep you posted because I'm not sure yet. <laughs> the next book that I got, I could have swore that I got it because of a book club pick for one of the book clubs I'm in. But I cannot find the post in any of the groups that I'm in at all. But that is Legends and Lattes by Travis or Bel Baldry. Travis Baldry, sorry. Um, the cover is so cute. I love it. And, um, so I hope to get to that one soon. But this one, I think I am the most excited about because I have been on hold for it ever since that I seen that the library system had got it. And that is Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I'm, I'm really, really wanting to read this because you know, what Potterhead doesn't want to read something that is in resemblance to Harry Potter. But it says, The Magic and Mayhem of Growing Up a Wizard. So, yeah, I love that. Um, so, <laughs> I have a very, very ambitious TBR for this week. Um, I have the Love Hypothesis that I am 12 pages into, which is, um, the romance pick for the month in my book club that me and my friend Jen host. So I need to finish or get at least the good chunk of the way through that one. Um, and then I am also in the middle of this one. I am 108 pages into I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Um, I am currently listening to this one on audiobook as I am doing like my diamond art that I got and I am enjoying this one as well but it is kind of extremely sad to listen to the things that she went through as a child and how hard her mom pushed her to do the things that she wanted her to do and not really having a childhood so that's kind of sad um and lastly I am going to be um participating in the 24-hour readathon um, that Stasia and Rylan host on their Discord group. Um, and they have um, four reading prompts for the readathon, uh, the first one being a foil or shiny cover. And I'm hoping to read Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo uh, to fulfill that prompt because um, I need to finish the series and move on to her other works. Um, the next prompt that she had, or that they had picked, is Red on the Cover. And this book has been on my TBR for a very, very long time and makes this TBR extremely ambitious. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I've heard that this book is like extremely steamy and my friend Jen read it and is like, you need to read it, you need to read it. So I'm hoping to pick that one up this weekend as well. Um, the next prompt that they have is to pick a book that is a new to you author. And I'm going to try to pick up Neon God by Katie Robert. 
This is another one that I've been seeing everywhere, obviously, because it says Book Talk made me read it. Um, I was pretty big into Book Talk, um, the end of 29, no, 20, yeah, 2019 into, like, the beginning of 2021, and then I kind of stopped off in 2022. I posted, you know, a little bit here and there, and I still kind of post here and there. The last book that I have is the My Pick, um, prompt, and I just recently hauled this one, um, closer to the end of last year. I had a little bit of extra book money and, um, wanted to get it because I have been seeing it everywhere as well, and that is The Stopover by T.L. Swan. Um, uh, part of me is kind of wanting to go back and reread Shadow and Bone to kind of, um, pick up and remember what I read in this book to continue on to Beige and Storm, but again, the CBR is already so ambitious, but we will see what that brings us, but they have, um, they're hosting this readathon over on their uh, Discord server, and I will link both of their channels and the link to their Discord channel, Discord server, in the description, so you guys can um, go take a look at their channels. They're both really amazing people, and I highly recommend supporting them and all that they do because they are so so busy with everything they do. <laughs> they put a lot of work into their, their readathons and um, their Discord servers and whatnot. So um, that is all I have for right now and I will update you in the next clip with um, some reading. So. <laughs> still in the process of reading the love hypothesis um monday i got to page 16 so not very far uh monday and tuesday i haven't been really feeling that great um nothing serious or anything just stomach issues mostly um but I'm gonna sit here and I've got my nice cup of coffee that you guys saw me make and I'm gonna sit here drink this and hopefully um make a good dent in this so
happy Thursday. Today has been kind of a weird day. Um, I was up super, super late throughout the night. I didn't go to bed until like 10 a.m. this morning. Um, so I, you know, I made breakfast, my medicine, uh, saw my husband off to work and whatnot, and I was going to just spend the day reading. Um, so, uh, I have a little bit of an update, I guess. Um, I read a little bit of, um, The Love Hypothesis last night. Uh, <laughs> what I did to try to go to sleep was read, play on my phone, take a shower, whatnot. Nothing worked. So, uh, I was up until 10 and I took a nap and I feel better now. And I hope to get some reading done today. So, Hello and happy Friday. Friday the 13th to be exact. Sporting the Friday the 13th March. Yeah. Jason is like my favorite horror movie character. Stasia and Rylan are doing sprints right now for the readathon. And I am currently getting ready to start from Blood and Ash. Um, I'm hoping to really get into it on the next sprint because there's only four minutes left on this one. Um, but I wanted to update you on the love hypothesis because I am on page 34 and like really tabbing it up with all kinds of emotions and stuff. So, um, hoping to get that one, um, probably get more into that one next week. Because the readathon TBR is like extremely um, ambitious. So, yeah. But to start off the readathon, I did very poorly today because I've been focusing on cleaning the house. Um, so, within the 24 hours, well, can't really say 24 hours because we've already been like three hours into the reading sprints for the day. Um, I'm hoping to. <laughs> at least make a good chunk into this one. I don't know why I picked such a big book for this readathon, because I could always start The Silent Patient, which is a, another book club that I'm in, book pick for January. Um, so yeah, but I just wanted to give you a little update and I will update you again when I make more progress. Hello, um, I just did two sprints with Raylan and Stasia. Um, I did one on their live sprints that um, Raylan was hosting. And then I just finished one that is on their Discord group that Stasia's hosting. Um, I got 41 pages into From Blood and Ash and so far I'm enjoying it pretty well. Um, I think that I might end up switching my TBR. For this readathon. Um, I am thinking instead of the other two books that I'm going to pick up Assassin's Blade and with that Throne of Glass um, to complete a couple books on my TBR for later in the month. Um, so I'm going to um, take a quick break while we wait for the next part to start. I'm gonna go switch the laundry. See you in the next update.
apologize for any background noise. My husband's out playing his wrestling game and I'm in my little reading nook just kind of relaxing. Um, I haven't read like anything today. Um, I'm giving my mind kind of a break because I've been reading continuous for like the past few days with the, the readathon and whatnot. Completely failed with that by the way. Didn't finish anything. Um, but I am just kind of hanging around. I am watching um, Autumn's videos and catching up on, you know, the ones that I've missed and whatnot. So um, I don't know if I'm going to wrap up this vlog or not. I might end up trying to read a little bit later tonight. Um, but if I don't, I will see you in the next video. Bye.